Hello, I'm Ahmed Nasr. I'm an ALM and TFS consultant. Today, we're going to talk about introduction to test planning with Microsoft Test Manager 2012. Microsoft Test Manager 2012 can be used to organize your test plans, author and manage your test cases, and run manual tests. In this lab, you will be introduced to test planning in Microsoft Test Manager. The prerequisites you need to have Visual Studio 2012 virtual machine that's provided by Microsoft. Also, this lab is one out of a number of labs that deal with Microsoft Test Manager. The recommended order to complete the labs in is as follows. Introduction to Test Planning with Microsoft Test Manager. Second, Introduction to Test Case Management with Test Manager. Third, Authoring and Running Manual Tests using Microsoft Test Manager. Fourth, Introduction to Platform Testing with Microsoft Test Manager. We have here three exercises in our lab. First is creating and configuring test plan. Second, adding test suites and test cases to a test plan. Third, creating and adding requirements to a test plan. Now with the first exercise. First exercise, creating and configuring a test plan. You will learn here how to create and configure a new test plan in Microsoft Test Manager. Now let's go to the virtual machine. I will connect to the machine with the user Julia and password P capital 2 SSW0RD. I will now open Microsoft Test Manager. Now, let's see the Activity Center drop down from the top menu. The Testing Center is used to work with manual test cases and other general test case management. The Lab Center is used to work with physical or virtual testing labs. And we will now go and select the Testing Center. We will now go click on Home to add a new test plan. We will name our new test plan Release 2 and I will choose the area path to be the website and iteration is iteration 2 click add and click on select plan now let's check the properties of this test plan the first section of the test plan properties window allows you to edit the basic properties like name, description, area path, iteration and so on and the running settings section allow you to specify how manual and automated test runs should be set up, what test environment to use and even the specific build to test against. Now let's choose test settings for the manual test. I will choose lightweight diagnostics and click on open. I click on data and diagnostics. The diagnostic step for configuring test settings allows you to select which data diagnostic adapters you want to utilize. I will select here Day Trace. I will now scroll down to select the video recorder and click on Finish. Now we must save our test plan before selecting any build. Now go to the build section and select Modify. I will now choose the let's build and click on assign to plan closes I will now go to test configuration part test configuration describe which platform to test against during test run in this configuration section it shows that Windows 7 and Windows 7 2008 is selected I will select now Windows Vista and i7 and click on apply and now I will click on save and close and by this we have ended exercise 1. Exercise 2 adding test suites and test cases to a test plan. In this exercise you will learn how to add test suites and existing test cases to a test plan. Now let's go and see. I will now right click release 2 and select new suite. I will give it name regression test. I will now add the existing test cases to this test plan by click on add contents window open and I will now click on run I will select the first two test cases and click on add test cases as you can see two test cases have been added to this test suite now let's add another type of test suites right click list 2 and choose new query based suite 
The query based test suite allow work item queries to be constructed in order to gather test cases. Now I will add here another condition. Area path should be under Telespin twice. And now click on run. And now click on create test suite. Now it show me the test cases for this new test suite. And as you can see we now we have two test suites under release two. Each one has different icon. This is the end of the exercise two. I will now move to exercise three. Creating and adding requirements to a test plan. In this exercise, you will learn how to create a new requirement and add that requirement to your test plan. You will also learn how to create a new test case for that new requirement. Let's go and see. I will create a new user story. I click on new, then select user story. This is your story, we'll give it a title. As a consumer, I want to be able to add a coupon code to my purchase. And let's give it a risk of a medium. And click on save and close. I will now click on the release to node. And then click on add requirements. Which will open me and add existing requirements to this test plan window. I'm going to click on one and choose the user story that we just created. We can now see the new requirement based test suite. Its icon is different than the other two test suites. Now let's create a new test case for this requirement based test suite. I click on new. will open me the window to create the test case. We'll give it the title add coupon code during checkout. Note that Area integration has the values of the test plan. I will now add the steps. Enter coupon code in coupon code text box. And add the second step. Click the apply button. And I will now click on save and close. Now we have created a new test case for this requirement based suite. This is the end of the exercise 3 and the end of this lab. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.